Thanks for choosing to blast with Epix. We're going to talk about how to optimize your blast in a cabinet. First and foremost, you want to make sure that you get your abrasive metered correctly. If you're underfed, it'll look something like what you're seeing on the left of the screen. If you're optimized, you're going to see something similar to the middle of the screen. And if you're overfed, you're probably going to see what's happening on the right hand side of the screen. Now, adjusting the abrasive feed rate is different depending on the style of cabinet you have. If you're in a suction cabinet, you may be able to make an adjustment right on the gun with an uh, adjustment set screw that reduces or increases the amount of suction, uh, which changes the amount of abrasive you're picking up through the pickup tube. If you don't have that, check out one of these C-clamps. You can buy these just about anywhere. If you don't want to do that, you could also buy a hose barb and reduce the opening of the pickup tube so you can't pull as much abrasive through at the same time. I prefer the C-clamp if you don't have a way to adjust it any other way. It's a good, good way to adjust things. Pretty simple, pretty reliable. Now, when it comes to the air supply, there's a few things you want to make sure of. You want to make sure that you have dry air. You also want to make sure your compressor is not throwing any oil because that will uh, dramatically reduce the quality of the surface after blasting. And we do recommend somewhere between 60 and 90 PSI for most applications. Of course, if you've gone through all this and you've watched the video and you're still struggling, please feel free to give 10X a call. We're available five days a week at 260-209-1207. And thanks for making an engineered decision.